If you want to know the best older man, younger woman movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2000s. Put both your hands on the desk, palms down. I want to make love. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Elegy. And that's how it ended up one night. The three of us were drunk and, and we ended up in bed together. Elegy is a 2008 romantic drama film directed by Isabel Quaxe and stars Penelope Cruz, Ben Kingsley, Dennis Hopper, Patricia Clarkson, and Peter Sarsgaard. Intelligent, adult, and intense, Elegy explores the obsession with passion in a relationship between a highly respected professor and an impossibly gorgeous student. Soon they form a hot love affair, but the professor struggles to keep up with the woman's beauty and her enchanting character. What can you do when you have a forbidden affair that threatens your whole career? All three of you. But when you're 17, you know, you do a lot of things just to feel that you're moving. Number 9. Dear Mr. Garvey, I'm grateful to you for referring to... Secretary is a 2002 erotic romantic drama comedy film directed by Steven Sheinberg and stars James Spader and Maggie Gyllenhaal. This rather unconventional yet of course intense and provocative affair story follows a young and self-harming woman who is starting all over again in a new dull job. One day, her older boss spanks her for a mistake, but both are surprised when she actually enjoys the treatment. Now she wants more, and their employer-employee relationship turns into a sexual, sadomasochistic one. I don't understand. There's nothing to understand. Put your elbows on the desk. Bend over. Get your face close to the letter. And read it aloud. Number 8. Look, Greek. Look at the class. Girl with a Pearl Earring is a 2003 drama film directed by Peter Weber and stars Colin Firth, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Wilkinson, and Killian Murphy. The film tells the story of painter Johannes Vermeer and how he ultimately created his masterpiece. When a young errand girl comes to work for Vermeer, he recognizes her talent and she becomes his assistant. Ultimately, she is asked to be a model for his starstruck painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring. Burn black. And you grind it with a muller, like this. Number seven. Whatever works. Yeah, your daddy. Your daddy's a good cracker. He's a bigot moron. Your daddy. Well, you're probably rad because you're a genius. Whatever Works is a comedy film written and directed by Woody Allen and stars Larry David, Evan Rachel Woods, Patricia Clarkson, Ed Begley Jr., and Henry Cavill. This unlikely companionship is a heated flame, but not for long. When the suicide attempt of a brilliant New York misanthrope fails, he rethinks his life and meets his exact opposite. A young, open-minded girl short on smarts. Surprisingly, romance sparks and they marry, but trouble is on the horizon when her mother arrives in their apartment. So, what kind of genius are you anyway? What kind? Yeah, like what are you genius at? Quantum mechanics. Yeah, but what feel? Like music? Number six. Hey, I can take the two. I, I was really good. I was really good. I was good. I was really good. Monsters Ball is a 2001 romantic drama film directed by Mark Forster and stars Halle Berry, Billy Bob Thornton, Heath Ledger, and Sean Combs. Sharing a variety of strongly committed performances, Monsters Ball is a hard-hitting Southern drama that explores love in the most unconventional situation. When a depressed and embittered prison guard working on death row falls in love with the wife of a man he has just executed, the two must prove their relationship against all odds. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, what you want me to do. I, I, want, I, you know what I want you to do. Number five, love comes softly. What is it? I just need to talk to you. Missy's asleep and I'm ready for bed. Can't we talk tomorrow? Love Comes Softly is a drama film directed by Michael Landon Jr. and stars Katherine Heigl and Dale Midkiff. 
The title of this movie is both truth and lie within its absurdly hilarious story, because here comes love softly after it brutally killed your husband. After her lover's sudden death, a traumatized woman agrees to temporarily live with a widower and his witty daughter. It doesn't take long for romance to form where pain had previously been. I'll be leaving Missy here with you. That is why I'm here. Yeah, I, you know, I just wasn't sure if you were up to dealing with the spirited. I'm fine. Something else? Number four. You wouldn't care perhaps to meet again for, for a coffee or, or a bite to eat or something sometime. Okay. The Girl in the Cafe is a 2005 drama film directed by David Yates and stars Bill Nye, Kelly MacDonald, and Marit Vel Kyle. This beautiful journey of two people finding each other to overcome the greatest distance follows Lawrence, a British city servant assigned to his country's delegation in Iceland. Even though committing to a life of loneliness, he soon finds himself drawn to Gina, an odd woman he has met in a cafe. But will their distance be overcome so easily? I'm sorry, I used both the big towels. I thought there were two more, but they turned out to be little ones. I'll call down and get some more. No, really, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm not really a big towel kind of guy. Number three. You are like the luckiest guy in the world. I would kill to have stuff like this. Please, go ahead and kill me. Ghost World is a black comedy drama film directed by Terry Zwigoff and stars Thora Birch, Scarlett Johansson, and Steve Buscemi. With a star-making performance from its leading cast, Ghost World delivers on smart and refreshing teenage comedy. As a coming-of-age story, the movie follows two young high school girls who look forward to their graduation. But as they reach the end of school, the two friends must decide what path they want to choose and if they can walk them together. Well, you, you think it's healthy to obsessively collect things? You can't connect with other people, so you fill your life with stuff. Just like all the rest of these pathetic collector losers. Number two. An education. Look, if you had any sense, you wouldn't take a lift from a strange man, but I'm a music lover and I'm worried about your cello, so... An Education is a 2009 coming-of-age drama film directed by Lone Scherfig and stars Carrie Mulligan, Peter Sarsgaard, Alfred Molina, Rosamund Pike, and Dominic Cooper. Jenny is a 16-year-old girl who is stuck in the dull routine of high school, yet she can't wait to finally reach womanhood and have a fast and passionate life. And when she meets a 30-year-old unsuitable suitor, he introduces her to a world of classical concerts and late-night events. Not quite what her parents have expected. He didn't tell me he had a sister, Jenny. <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Jack. Yes, I suppose I am. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Excuse me? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Hmm. Is he famous? He's on that show, Extraterrestrials. No, oh, I haven't seen that. Neither have I. How'd you know who he was then? Osmosis. Guarda, intanto questo lo avevi lasciato nel furgone. Mr. Fowler's a very lucky man. My father was very sad. He had no grandchildren. Would you like a drink? No. Thank you. My friends. Number one. Can't you sleep? Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you staying for? Lost in Translation is a beautiful story of cultural shock. Published in 2003, the romantic comedy drama was written and directed by Sofia Coppola and stars Bill Murray as aging actor Bob Harris and Scarlett Johansson as college graduate Charlotte. The renowned actor discovers what it is to be an average traveler in a country where no one speaks what he will perceive. There is an expected reluctance in our actor, that is, until he develops a sweet, friendly relationship with a fellow American. They start searching for the answers to their very intricate queries together. I'll be in the bar for the rest of the week. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, I'm going out with some friends later if you want to come. Do you agree with our list? 
please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.